The time limit for submitting a claim for your stimulus payment of $2,000 is only 48 hours away. This much required financial aid will soon be available to people who receive benefits from Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, and Social Security Income, and Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI. You and your family are in desperate need of financial support, therefore you should not let this important opportunity to obtain it slip through your fingers. In order to ensure that you receive your money in a timely and uncomplicated manner, we will explain everything in this video. In order for you to acquire the knowledge necessary to acquire your finances and avoid missing out on this essential support, you have arrived at the appropriate channel FKD Check if you are looking for the most recent information regarding programmed interventions that are intended to stimulate the economy. To introduce myself, my name is Abraham and I am here today to share with you some very exciting news. First things first, before we go into today's developments, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. You should make sure that you are always up to date on any new advancements that happen with stimulus. During these trying times, our number one objective is to assist you in being informed and in control of your situation. Okay, then I'll get right down to business. This stipend is available to recipients of Social Security, Social Security Supplements, Social Security Disability Insurance, and other programs that are comparable. It is imperative that those of you who are qualified to receive this money take prompt action in order to ensure that you are able to get it. In this video, you will be able to obtain all of the information that you require. This includes information such as who is eligible, what to do in the event that problems emerge, when deposits are due, and how to ensure that payment receipts are received. Beginning with the question of who is qualified to get the $2,000 stimulus grants is a good place to start. This historic decision was brought about as a result of the ongoing economic difficulties which have a disproportionate impact on individuals who are living on fixed incomes or who get support from the official government. It is imperative that you give careful consideration to the content of this document if you are currently receiving benefits from Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, Social Security, Disability Insurance, SSDI, Veterans Affairs, or any of the other programs that have been introduced. All individuals who are now receiving assistance from the government ought to be able to submit an application for one of these new stimulus checks worth $2,000 because the standards are as liberal as they can possibly be. Included in this group are those who are receiving benefits from the Social Security Retirement Program, Supplemental Security Income, Supplemental Security Disability Income, or the Veterans Insurance Administration. It is important to remember, however, that even for individuals who fall into these categories, eligibility may be affected by income limits and other requirements. In spite of the fact that the particulars are still being worked out, it is anticipated that the income restrictions will be comparable to those of previous stimulus payouts. When compared to previous stimulus disbursements, the headline sum of $2,000 represents a somewhat significant increase. But in other words, the sum is not per household, but rather per qualified individual. As long as you and your husband are married, you are eligible to receive a combined total of $4,000 in Social Security benefits. Even though the specific amounts for dependents are still being determined, there is a possibility that individuals who have children who are reliant on them would receive higher payouts. Keep in mind that the purpose of this $2,000 payment is to serve as a stimulus check only. Not a payment made on a monthly plan. There are a number of things that may be done to guarantee that you will receive your money as quickly as possible and without any complications. You should check to see if the relevant government agency has your most recent mailing and banking information on file. It is possible that it would be beneficial for you to file a tax return for the most recent tax year, despite the fact that doing so is typically not required due to the fact that you already get benefits. On the website of the Internal Revenue Service IRS, you can find resources such as the Get My Payment portal. This enables you to gauge the current status of your stimulus payment. The processing of millions of payments takes time, therefore we ask that you please be patient and be on the lookout for con artists. There will be no unsolicited calls, texts or emails from the government requesting details about your stimulus payment or any payments associated with it. Despite the fact that the particular distribution plan is still being worked out, we are able to provide some general expectations based on how previous stimulus funds were handled. Most people who get benefits from Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSDI, or via other programs should find the process to be easy and fast. This stimulus payment, like the ones that came before it, will be deposited into your bank account in a straightforward manner. Because the government has your details on file, they should be able to move quickly. There are a lot of financial strains on many Americans right now, and the decision to authorize these payments comes at the worst possible time. There has been a major increase in inflation and widespread fear as a result of the fact that the expenses of food, housing, and healthcare have been increasing at a rate that is higher than the salaries of many individuals. Annual cost of living adjustments or colors for social security claimants have failed to keep up with actual price increases. Similarly, individuals receiving benefits or supplemental security income SSI, SSDI sometimes see their fixed income eroded by increasing expenditures. With the intention of providing immediate relief, this stimulus package of $2,000 is intended to help close the gap that exists between the current levels of benefits and the actual cost of living. This might be a huge windfall for retirees, increasing their yearly income, revealing hidden expenditures, helping with debt repayment or creating a safety net for unforeseen bills. 
those who are receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or Supplemental Security Income, SSI, as a result of their disability, sometimes face the burden of additional medical and care-related expenses. This stimulus could offer financial assistance to help cover these costs or provide funding for essential treatments or equipment. The unique financial hardships experienced by many veterans, particularly those with service-connected impairments, make this stimulus all the more important in meeting their basic requirements, such as health care, housing and food. Local economies may get a huge boost if billions of dollars were pumped into the hands of consumers, especially those who would spend it on needs rapidly. In the event that there is an increase in the demand for goods and services from consumers, this might be beneficial to businesses and jobs all throughout the country. There has been and will continue to be debate over whether or not Social Security, disability and veterans benefits are sufficient to cover growing living expenses. This stimulus, however, will bring short-term assistance. You should be cognizant of any obstacles and factors to think about. Processing and distribution delays are possible due to the high number of recipients. The procedure could be delayed due to unexpected problems. Earlier rounds of the stimulus program resulted in monies being transferred to the incorrect accounts or sent to individuals who had passed away by accident. We will do our best to reduce the occurrence of such mistakes, but they are still possible. You may be asking what the most efficient use of these monies would be. Despite the fact that everyone's financial situation is unique, it is imperative that the most important priority is always to meet the fundamental requirements. Electricity, water and medicine that is required. You may get some much needed relief from these charges through the stimulus program. Think about using some of the stimulus money towards paying off high interest loans or credit card balances. In the long run, your financial situation can improve if you pay off your debt. In case you don't have one already, you might want to think about putting some of the money into an emergency fund in order to keep you from incurring debt due to unforeseen costs. If you do not have any immediate requirements, there is a possibility that it would be prudent to set aside the money for future expenses or retirement. Finally, the video for today has reached its conclusion. In the next video, I shall see all of you. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one if you enjoyed it.